right hey guys welcome back in this lesson you will be learning how to use the feature of zoom live webinars from zenler so did you know zenler gives you 300 att attendees on zoom so zoom is one of the best platforms in the world for conducting your webinars or meetings and just imagine they have a tie up where they're giving you 300 attendees now if i have to do my calculations you will have to pay somewhere about 100 to 120 dollars to zoom for that kind of range which is 300 but zoom has 100 and then they have 500 so 100 is at like 60 dollars and uh, 500 attendees is like somewhere about 140 dollars and we are on the thousand uh, attendees plan which is 340 dollars per month which is way expensive but i'm going to be using this tool from now on where i will do webinars where i know there will be people less than 300 then i'm going to use this tool for myself so you don't have to purchase a zoom plan over here it's inbuilt through Zenler and it's inbuilt through Zoom. So this is a powerful platform as such. So I will click on live button here. Now there are three things over here, which is live class, live webinar and live stream. Okay, live stream to Facebook and li live and YouTube live. You can do it from here as well. It's coming soon that you can see. So within a month or two, it, they will roll out this feature. But live classes is essentially for your own students, the paid members, you can directly do it from here. And then they have a live webinar for people uh, outside if you want to convert them into students. So I'm going to click on live webinar right now and I will create a new webinar right in front of you. So topic would be testing with a colleague. So I'm going to be doing the testing and see if the clarity and all is pretty awesome. So this is a testing webinar is what you put up in description. Now in your case, you will be doing it. Of course, whatever the title of your webinar is description is you can add a thumbnail here okay and let me put up a thumbnail of the same size as the banner image so i'll put that up here right and then when so when do you want to conduct this particular webinar so you might want to put that up but before you select this date you select the time zone you'll have to select asia slash kolkata so this will pop up and now you might want to select the date and time so i'm just doing it right now somewhere about just 10 minutes from now so that i can do some testing right so i hope yeah it's 4 30 4 20 4 30 pm now so maximum attendees that they give you is 300 on the um pro plan for annual which is for 47 dollars and if you're on the premium plan then they give you 500 attendees so this is a good deal i would say you can go for the premium plan as well now duration is important make sure you put up a proper duration because they will automatically end few minutes after the set duration right so make sure you put up on the higher end which is 90 minutes testing with colleague is fine now you will just go and create right so it's ready i will go back on live i will see live webinar and this is my webinar so for invitation i will go click on invitation copy this and the outsider is going to look, see this particular one like this. So it's starting in eight minutes. They can go register, they can put their name and they can come in. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing this live. I'm sending this to my colleague here and I will ask her to join the webinar right now. Okay, so we will do this and until then I'm gonna be starting the webinar from my end. So let me start the webinar. All right, so I'm inside right now and I will click on this button. So we'll wait for it to load. And starting the video. So it's going to take some time to load. We'll wait for it to load and let's see if it pops up. So until then you can notice uh, you uh, can see the participants here uh, you can see the chat of people where you can select who if you if you want everybody to chat or not and that's how it is it's pretty much the same as zoom guys yeah it's pretty much the same as zoom there is nothing else they have integrated with zoom so they have not created a similar software as zoom they have integrated with zoom so you're pretty much getting the similar feature if you're very well versed with zoom already so i've give i've sent 
the invitation to my colleague i'm waiting for her to join and we'll see what happens one thing i want to tell you here is the webinar will be starting exactly at the hour so you cannot have space for them to enter before that so that's the thing that i want to tell you here so let me show you an example right here so if you register you will have to wait for the exact time to start right so if you notice here if i go it will say the webinar is starting in about a minute and 20 seconds so you gotta make sure that you put up a clear cut email saying look my webinar room is going to be open at 4 30 pm ist on june 16 so be there exactly on the time because that's that's a challenge here because if you see in zoom you can enter before itself and you can wait even before the host joins right but in this case and even if the host starts his video live uh, you cannot enter in this particular space here so you gotta wait for 50 seconds and i will be waiting and see what happens right after that yes so this is an amazing amazing um integration that zendler has it with zoom i don't know how they crack this particular game but it's it's brilliant it's it's million dollar deal i would say that they have done with them and 300 attendees is a very good number if you want to get started because that's huge uh having 300 people in a webinar is is pretty good uh, numbers and if you're able to crack it you can use this particular tool if you want 500 attendees then you want to go for that premium plan which is at available at thousand dollars per annum it comes out to be still cheaper because you are, you can do a lot of a lot of things right so it's five four three two one and we are inside so it's game time let's see what happens now yes so yes let's see the participants inside you can see one person has joined which is digital scholar so hey guys how you doing if you can hear me loud and clear just type yes in the chat box if you can hear me loud and clear just type in the chat box yes so they can able to hear me uh do you can you watch my video can you see me So can you see my video and no so video is not possible right now okay so there is some bug here uh, able to see your screen and everything else is fine so something wrong happened with my video there is no bug as such from Zenlo but there is a bug from my end I'm not able to show the video because I think camera settings were wrong as such but any which way uh, so right now I'm going to be teaching you about new Zenler and let me pull it up here so can you see my screen guys people on the webinar can you see my screen and if you can see the home screen of Zenlo yes so awesome so this is amazing and people can interact and this is how you can take them through the entire webinar so thank you so much Samita for joining us and that's about it so I was just doing a demo and it worked out to be pretty fine so thank you so much and that's about it thank you yes so end here and I'm gonna end meeting for everybody so that's how it is it worked pretty good uh, there was some settings error from my end for the camera because i think i i forgot to switch it to the laptop camera that i was facing so it didn't show to the attendee but then it worked really fine as such yes so this one was clear as such that what live webinar can do for you next up is simple it's live classes so what is a live class you have to click here you can create live classes just for your community members okay you can keep going live and you can teach them anything that you want so first live class with community okay description would be i will be teaching three things today and you can say whatever you're about to teaching xyz abc and all of that so again same thing same principle here you go figure out asia slash kolkata and you will um just change the date over here right so this is sorted maximum attendees is again 300 possible and if, if i put 400 they won't accept it if you notice okay let me just go and create right so yeah value must be less than or equal to 300 is what they say so you have to put 300 uh, duration you need to change 
who can attend either registered on site or enrolled in course remember live class is for our students so you have to click on enrolled in course and select the people if you want to invite all the course members from all over the uh, all over how many ever courses you have or you just want to do it for a specific audience here so i want to do it just for my digital trainer secrets guys and i will create right now so live class has been created successfully i will go back i can preview it here so first live class with community it works on the same principle so what happens is they will actually receive an email uh, from us saying uh, live class has been scheduled and all of that is possible here so start class you can send the invite through this and it's the same things over here so you can see registered users as well so it's pretty straightforward as such and this is an amazing tool that you can make use of this can actually avoid you to make the payments to zoom so here is where zoom is integrated for you for 47 dollars per month you are getting so much more uh, than you can actually imagine and this is the perfect platform that i would say uh, ask you to uh, you know start on so if you're still not subscribed if you're still thinking twice this is the place to be uh, just click on the link below and sign up using my link that's when you will actually get the invitation otherwise you won't be able to sign up on your own so see you guys in the next section and we will learn much more than this see you take care so here is a small update I wanted to give you why my video was not working because I was screen recording and you would have seen that my video got stuck halfway and I was not able to see the video in zoom as well. So both the platforms got struck, it got intertwined I guess and that's why you're not able to see the video working on my zoom. But then I tried it on a separate way, it, it worked fine and of course my uh, screen flow is also working fine at the moment so it happened because i was recording and i was showing it for the testing purposes there is no bug as such and it's wor working perfectly good as such okay so my screen flow is working right now and the zoom webinar was working fine as well so this is a small update that i just wanted to give you in this tutorial itself and i hope when you do it you should be able to do it because you won't be screen recording at the same time and if you're doing that uh, the video is not going to work at the same time so thank you so much for watching until here